Somalia's former Minister of Foreign Affairs joined community leaders and state legislators at a Minnesota State Capitol News Conference Monday to call for resources to help Somalia deal with a humanitarian crisis caused by catastrophic flooding. The floods have killed more than 100 people and displaced 750,000 from their homes since the rainy season began in October, according to the United Nations. Overall, they have affected more than 2 million people across Somalia. Among those at the news conference were public health experts, mosque leaders, and elected officials, including Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Frey and state legislators from the Somali American Legislative Caucus. Mohamed Abdurizak is an advisory group member for the United Nations Center for Emergency Response Fund and former Minister of Foreign Affairs for Somalia. He said that while 820,000 people have received shelter, food, water, and medical supplies, there is still an urgent need for emergency help. The recent heavy rains uh, have wrought havoc uh, across Somalia, affecting 2.4 million people. Uh, more than a million individuals have been displaced, and we mourn the loss of uh, 110 people in 36 different uh, districts. These numbers represent profound human uh, tragedy involving families and communities whose lives have been appended. The looming threat of waterborne diseases further compounds the situation. Uh, reports of suspected cholera cases in various regions heighten the risk of communities already facing uh, limited access to, to health care. Uh, in the face of these challenges, uh, the resilience and solidarity shown by the Somali people, including those here in, some, uh, in Minnesota, uh, local authorities, humanitarian partners who have assisted more than 820,000 uh, affected individuals are commendable. Their efforts in providing shelter, food, water, and medical supplies are crucial, yet there is a still significant gap uh, in meeting these needs uh, to those uh, affected. Uh, the forecast suggests some respite uh, with light rains and dry conditions in certain areas, uh, but this does not lessen the urgency of the crisis. Uh, we face a stark reality. In 2023, uh, the humanitarian response plan is critically underfunded with only about 42% of the needed 2.6 billion received. Uh, this funding is vital for assisting 7.6 uh, million people uh, of the most vulnerable people in Somalia. As representatives and leaders, uh, we make an urgent plea to the global community, uh, donor nations, and all parties involved uh, to step up their support. The situation in Somalia demands not just immediate relief, but also long-term commitment to support recovery. Uh, in conclusion, um, our collective efforts are crucial uh, in this critical moment. Uh, we pledge to work tirelessly with all partners to ensure adequate response and recovery measures. The Somali people need our unified support more than ever. Together we can make a significant uh, difference in addressing this crisis and build a more resilient future for Somalia. Thank you very much. The United Nations also reports that the flooding is expected to swamp at least 1.5 million hectares of farmland through December, more than 3.7 million acres. Roads and other infrastructure have been damaged and hospitals and schools have closed. The disaster comes after a famine caused by a catastrophic drought in Somalia. An estimated 1.5 million children under the age of five face acute malnutrition between August 2023 and July 2024. Mohammed said that the humanitarian response to the region is critically underfunded. The United Nations reports that a $2.6 billion plan to support 7.6 million people this year has only received 42% of funding so far. The situation is unfolding as millions of Somalis continue to battle hunger and malnutrition, with an estimated 1.5 million children under the age of five facing acute malnutrition between August and next July. Humanitarians warn that they will not be able to meet current and emerging needs without additional resources.